वेलकम टू स्कूल पेज की कॉन्सेप्ट एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला एक्सप्लेन एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला इज द सिंपलेस्ट होल नंबर रेशियो ऑफ आइटम्स ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट इन अ कॉम्पाउंड इन सिंपल वर्ड्स इट इज द सिंपलेस्ट केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ अ कॉम्पाउंड लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल ग्लूकोज विच इज अ सिंपल शुगर हैज अ मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला C6H12O6 सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स एंड एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला एज सी एच टू ओ मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ एनी कॉम्पाउंड गिव्स द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट इन वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ अ कॉम्पाउंड हियर द ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल हैज सिक्स कार्बन आइटम्स ट्वेल्व हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स एंड सिक्स ऑक्सीजन आइटम्स एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला ऑन द अदर हैंड गिव्स द सिंपलेस्ट होल नंबर रेशियो of atoms of each element in a compound here carbon hydrogen and oxygen are bonded with one another in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 it simply means that for every carbon atom there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom it's because of this empirical formula is not considered as the true formula of a compound besides two or more compounds can have the same empirical formula consider these examples glucose ribose acetic acid and formaldehyde observe the molecular formula of these compounds they all are different now observe the empirical formula of these compounds glucose ribose acetic acid and formaldehyde all have the same empirical formula ch2o This is one more reason for not considering empirical formula as a true formula of a compound. Now I understand what empirical formula is. Uh, but I have a question. If the empirical formula cannot give the true identity of a compound, then why do we use it? Good question. Let me solve the puzzle for you. Empirical formula tells you the ratio of atoms in a compound. which is very helpful to calculate the percentage composition of the compound in elemental analysis of an unknown sample and also in the synthesis of a new compound it's because of this the determination of empirical formula occupies a very important role in analytical chemistry determination of the empirical formula of a compound is done by using either the molecular formula of the compound or using the mass percentage data molecular formula uses the greatest common factor of the subscripts of the compound whereas the mass percentage data uses the molar ratios of the elements in the compound thank you for watching for more videos visit our website schoolpage.me